Hi guys, I'm Sadie, and today we're um, looking at my desktop. Why are we looking at my desktop? Well, I wanted to launch OneShot, the game that we started playing recently, and show you what she says, because there's no menu or system or anything that comes up when we first launch the game. And she talks to the player, me. She talks to me when I first launched the game. She says things like, oh my goodness, everything went all dark. I don't know what to do. So I wanted you guys to see that. So yes, this is a portion of my desktop. It's about two thirds of my desktop. Yay, hello bicycle. And we're gonna launch the game. And you'll see she says stuff and I have to tell her that I am back. I don't think anyone else is noticing it either. Am I the only one who's seeing this? And she says things. She says slightly different things every time you launch the game. I just had tested it um, because we were going to sit down and play together today. Oh, this window is just a little bit undersized. And she was saying like, oh my gosh, it went dark for a really long time and I was so scared. And where did you go? Are you here? And so I closed the game real quick and I was like, that was weird. And then I opened it again and she was saying something similar, but a little bit different about like, it happened again. Oh my gosh, I didn't know what to do. Please don't leave me here all alone. That kind of thing. I also wanted to show you guys, cause we talked not at length, but a little bit about the controls in this game, the, the keyboard controls. Let me see if I can remember what I've said it to. Oh, I don't know. Menu, something. Maybe I should click into the game. That might help, huh? <laughs> and if we go over here to settings, and we go down here to... Now see, this wasn't in the main menu. This wasn't when we first installed the game and first played it. The only way to get here is to already have the game installed, already have started it, gone through the first cutscenes, and ta-da, there it is. As you can see, I have changed my keys. So now instead of arrow key and then having to reach all the way across to hit, say, the Z key for the menu or the I key for items. I've also changed almost all of this. Um, I have everything set to more standard, like WASD. Didn't want to spend a lot of time on this. Just wanted to let you guys know if you have problems with your hands, whatever, you can indeed change the keys. Nice. So, and then this is obviously the rest of the settings. Um, default movement is interesting because you can actually change it to run. I don't know why that might be handy, but it's there. Okay. So when we last left our tr intrepid explorer, Nico, I almost forgot her name and I call her her because I'm a girl and I'm relating to the game. So forgive me. We were at the entrance of what looked like sort of a maze of, of pathways. And we had kind of started wandering around a little bit. And as you can see, I'm moving a little bit better because I have everything mapped to the keyboard now. I am not using the mouse today. I'm, the Naga is sitting here. Actually, no, it's pushed under the, the shelf. So I'm not using the Naga at all. And this is much, much better. This is much, much smoother. I feel so much better now that I've been able to remap the keys. I'm sure that was a little frustrating for you guys to watch too. I was, I was fumbly. But how is that different from any other day, Sadie? So we're just wandering around, seeing what this maze has to offer. Oh, oh, I don't like it when it goes dark like that. Sadie, there's something in the air here and it hurts to breathe. Oh, maybe we should not go up there. Maybe we need something, a gas mask that might be helpful. So let's go down here. Can we go in any of this? Hmm. I'm just gonna sort of skirt. Oh, oh, it scares me when it does that. I'm just sort of skirting along the edges to see if there's anything out here. Those look like black clovers. Oh, a robot. No power, just like the rest. We need to figure out a way to give these guys some power. So, yeah, I'm just skirting along the edges. That looks like a door, doesn't it, peeps? And then I guess we'll we'll slowly... Oh! Ooh, it's the red-headed goddess. Hello. What kind of voice should we give her? Let's see. 
<clears throat> I saw a movie trailer recently, and I think it's Uma Thurman, and she's talking very slowly and very precisely. Maybe we'll give the redheaded goddess robot, I know, but redhead here, so goddess, maybe we'll give her a voice like that. What do you think? I think we should. Okay, let's talk to the redhead. Ah, the light bulb. So, are you the messiah? Well, that's what I've been told. I expected someone taller, or at least someone who doesn't look like a kitten. Oh, you're not very nice. That is what you are, right? Some sort of cat. Uh-uh, I'm a person. You've got the eyes of a cat. But <clears throat> cats walk on four legs. Well, either way, a child like you being the Messiah just doesn't feel right. But that robot back there says there's no mistake. I know. This is going to sound cold, but I honestly think you're better off just leaving and letting the world die naturally. The world has been falling apart for a long time. This manner of decay, it's highly improbable that the sun can fix it. You've already seen how bad it can get, right? Um, we haven't seen much of anything, actually. And we can't really just leave. Oh, you just got here? Then you must be headed towards the tower. Uh-huh. That's where I'm supposed to put the light bulb, or the, the sun, isn't it? Yes, at the very top. We know that the tower contains a force that nobody could comprehend. And the power is strongest at the summit. Maybe it will send you back home after you complete your mission. Oh, don't take my word for it, though. Well, you're not very helpful, but you sure are fascinating. Will you be my friend? What's inside the tower? I do not know. No one has ever entered it before. At least, nobody that history knows about. Well, then, who built it? Built? As far as anyone can tell, it's been there since the beginning of time. I know someone who wanted to study it before, but... Oh, he never told me if it went anywhere. Can we say anything else to her? She seems to know stuff. Oh, she keeps moving and not letting me talk to her. Do you need further assistance? No, we're good, thanks. Okay. Can I rummage? I really like to rummage. Oh, a bed. It's made of metal? That doesn't look very comfortable. Oh. It's a metal chess table covered in dust. I haven't played chess with anyone else for a very long time. Oh? Not, not even with the other robots? No. Nobody in the Barrens have that capacity in their programming. Nobody here is tamed, for that matter. Now there's that word again, tamed. I really wonder what that means in, in their context. It's a jar full of glowing shrimp. I wonder if that's the same stuff that's glittering and glowing in those pools outside. The top is covered with a wire mesh. Well, dig them out, sunshine. Can, can you get out of my way? A shelf of weird tools and pieces of metal. Jar of glowing shrimp, wire mesh. It's, it's providing like lantern light for this room, which is awesome. But 
Do you have running water? I'd like to wash my hands. Dear Silver, I heard the news about the mines, and I'm sorry. I can't imagine what you're feeling. It's been two weeks. I know it must be hard, but maybe it's better that you came back. It's only a matter of time before the robots are recalled. At least let me know you got my message. Okay? Kip. Interesting. What's this glitter glowy? There's something poking out from this shelf. Oh, it's a screwdriver. You can take that if you want. It may help you. Oh, are you sure? Yes, I have many. Thank you. Cool, we're probably gonna need some screwdriver. Shelf of weird tools and metal. What's this here thing? Please do not touch that. Oh, I'm sorry, I just got curious. What is this thing? A backup power cell. It keeps me functional. The main generator for the Barons ran out of power some time ago. It could not even last a week without the sun. Oh, I'm really sorry to hear that. All we can do is make use of the light we have. Right, like these little lantern things. Lots of tiny glowing shrimp swimming around in this jar. And lots of tiny shrimp that aren't glowing. Or swimming. No, I just refilled that two days ago. I guess I'll have to take a trip to the shore later. Interesting. So the little shrimpy doos, they they expire over time, which I mean, of course, makes sense, but it doesn't sound like they're reproducing very well. What is this stuff? Ooh, rummage. What's this? Wait. I saw you heading towards this direction. The mines have been abandoned for some long time. I cannot guarantee that it is safe. If you must enter, it is my duty to accompany you at least once. Oh, okay, thanks. Do be careful in here. Well, sure, no problem. I'm not like a klutz or a moron, you know. There's this little gadget on the ground. It kind of looks like a camera. It is what's left of a camera anyway. Probably even part of a robot at some point. Oh. Or not. I don't know. You don't know very much, hon. It's another one of those shrimp jars. Another shrimp jar. Oh, look, train tracks. I can see a faint yellow glow in the distance. Do not stand so close to the edge. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh, cute, she backed up. Looks like even the entrance tunnel collapsed off. Without a vehicle, we cannot proceed. Well, can't we walk? I can. But for you, it is a safety violation. I will not allow it. What? What's ahead anyway? It is a huge network of underground mines. The source of this world's metal and non-phosphor fuel. This is what propelled the world into the industrial age. So, now it's lost forever? It's been for a while now. When the sun went out, the mines were the first to be abandoned amidst the initial panic. Even the robots have all been cleared out and repurposed. Well, that makes sense. Though there was one that always insisted on going back. Oh? I do hope he is okay. Interesting. She like has the capacity kind of to feel, or at least she's being programmed to. Do be careful in here. Yes, miss. I'm going to defy you 
The yellow light is gone now. It, I must have imagined it. Safety violation. Fine. You won't let me rummage. You won't let me do any cool stuff. Is there anything way over here? No, of course not. Because you never let me do fun things. Goodbye. Are you ready to leave? Uh-huh. No letting me rummage, motherfucker. <laughs> oh, is this the end of this side? Oh, okay. Well, let's go down and around. We've probably got a whole midsection that we can explorate. Do we have any good stuff? Just, oh, we, we grabbed that camera. That's interesting. What if, whoops, screwdriver, camera. <clears throat> oh, use the screwdriver to pull the lens out? Okay, done. How is that helpful? I lose the goodies? That's not fair. Lens and empty bottle? I can't combine those. Fine. Light bulb and lens? I can't combine those. Fine, I don't care. I don't want to combine them anyway. Rough. Can we? No, we can't go down anywhere down there. Okay. So we're back in sort of the maze of paths. So we went up there. Did we like go over here? I don't think we did. Oh, what's that machine? Oh, there's another baby bear. I like a baby bear. The sun will not return, and the abyss is calling my name. I'm sorry, everyone, for choosing to leave before the darkness suffocates us all. Oh, that's really sad, man. But, like, what if you'd stuck around and you were the person who invented the solution like that's kind of selfish and lame right okay i think we went over there so let's follow these train tracks down i want to see what that is and i want to see what this machine is it has buttons and they glow and they're shiny and it's attractive let's go see hello shiny thing a metal safe it's locked with a six digit code remember seeing any six digit codes do you Sadie yeah no I totally hella don't wait a minute yeah zero 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 that was not it I wonder if it's one two three four five six <laughs> what is up here I want good stuff ooh what's that no? Poot. Okay, I think we came around this before. Yeah, that looks like we've come around that. So let's go back down. We're somewhere like in the middle of the maze, I guess. With all these like dips and turns, like, weren't the robots sort of exhausted? Oh, that's the beginning again, because that's the curly tracks that go straight into the wall. Hmm. Okay, well, let's go to the right. This just seems like a lot of unnecessary programming to make all of these turns and stair steps and whatever. And another bear. Although the poisonous gas is highly localized to the vent zones, Baron's workers were still recommended to wear gas masks. These masks were mandatory around active vent sites, of course. As more and more of the workforce got replaced by robots, we found ourselves with a surplus of abandoned gas masks. It seemed like a waste to get rid of them all, so we kept a few for emergencies. Aha! I need to find Dame. This is for me. I am a biological entity, and so thus I need gas masks. Is this a door? Let me in. Mm. 
Okay, when we first came up this way from the beginning, we went to the left. So let's go straight. Okay, that's where the machine, the safe is. Okay. Let's go this away. And this away. Oh, there's another baby bear. Give me that paper. Oh, it's a torn page with faded ink. XXX. So the date we can't, I guess, read. With the mining operations going smoothly, materials are no longer our limiting factor. We will be able to build more resilient robots, both in body and mind. Well, it's not really in bodies and minds, not like 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 blood and musculars. Specifically, the discovery of the metal alloy, <coughs> pardon me, I'm so professional, 291, will likely allow the development of highly efficient circuitry. Cool. So, we're getting a bit of a story about their, like, technological evolution, which is awesome. Is that a thing? No. Okay, fine. What's up here? Didn't we come from here? There has to be more good stuff. Oh, this is that weird area. Okay, I don't want to be here. I want to go over here. Did we come down and around from this section? I think we did, and we went this way, did we? I'm so lost. And we read that paper. Oh, paper. I wonder if there was more south of the mine. Is this where the gas creatures are? This is a long pathway, I think it is. Yeah, can't be up there. Okay. Any other paths or doors down here? Okay, we've been through that. Oh, and that's a dead end. Oh, interesting. Is there anything good over that away? Hmm. No, don't go straight into the wall this nope okay I'm gonna wander and if I find something awesome I'll come back well for the moment I've come back to the original robot that we met who sort of gave us the lay of the land and I remember that it had told us that it thought there was a map laying around somewhere and we never went in this building so maybe we should look around a little bit a robot without power What's all this stuff? Dusty shelves. Looks like there's a lot of rummageables all over the floor. It makes me very excited. I love to rummage. There's another bear. <coughs> I'm going to read. The use of a robot as our replacement head engineer seems unorthodox, especially the one responsible for last year's incident. I suppose they had to keep her away from the city, but that doesn't make it easier to swallow for those of us who work here. I hope that man knows what he's doing. Management. Interesting. I wonder if that's redheaded chica babe. Use of a robot as replacement head engineer. They had to get her away from the city. And she's kind of out in the boonies. I wonder if that's the redheaded babe. I think it is. The goddess. She's awesome. What's this stuff? Dusty shelves. What's that? It's a faded poster. Reminder to all workers. The rarest form of blue phosphor is found during the phosphor shrimp's spawn period. If you observe a pond with a bubbled over surface, please contact management immediately. We will dispatch a harvest team ASAP. Cool. What's this one say? Sweet. What's this one say? Dude. Oh, it's another faded poster. Five new positions available at the mines. Housing and other provisions are included upon hiring. 
first come, first served. So that sounds like you're working for the company store. Have you guys ever heard that phrase before? Working for the company store? That's like Grapes of Wrath stuff. Um, it means like the company for whom you're working, doing whatever you're doing. Maybe you're mining or maybe you're farming or whatever it is. They own everything, including pretty much your butt. And you live in housing that they provide and you shop at stores that they own and you do what they say basically you're at their mercy it was some it was a, a huge problem after like sort of mid late the great depression so like grapes of wrath i know you guys must have been reading that like like it was required reading when i was in school so i'm sure most of you guys at least have read excerpts from it but that definitely that poster up there that totally reminds me of grapes of wrath like oh housing and provisions will be provided for you and then and uh-huh sure meanwhile you're replacing all this with robots this won't turn on a robot it seems to be okay it just doesn't have power there's glowy stuff up there oh i like glowy stuff it's shiny a lot of this stuff looks like crowbars that i could heck use oh there's a big bear <coughs> Self-charging solar battery model N87, one-year warranty included. Simply place your self-charging battery in full daylight with the lens facing up. Charges in seconds, no external power is needed. Troubleshooting manual. If the battery fails to charge, check to see that the lens on the front side has not been dislodged during transport. One charge cycle will last about 10 days. If you notice a decline in the charge cycle within the warranty period, please contact the manufacturer. Awesome. Is this the thing? This box looks really interesting. I wish I had something to pry it open with. Girl, what do we have? Oh, we used our screwdriver. Oh, are there are there things on the ground? Dusty shelves. Mm -hmm stuff to pry I was just saying a lot of this crap looks like crowbars and crap oh it's another poster one a robot may not injure a living person or through inaction allow a person to come to harm two a robot must obey the orders given to it by people except where such orders would conflict with the first law oh this is the law of robotics. It's like Blade Runner stuff. Who who made who made the laws of robotics? I don't remember. Oh, I'm a terrible, terrible person. Okay. Three. A robot must protect its own existence as long as such protection does not conflict with the first or second laws. What who made who who who? Heinlein? Did Heinlein make the laws of robotics for, for his for some of his books? Some of his stories? Maybe? Do I say that incorrectly? Heinlein? Heinlein? Well, anyway. What is this paper? A map of the world. Tower, refuge, glen, barrens. Cool. It's a big old, like, spirally, eyeball-y thing. Can I has that, please? You won't give me has. You're mean. I want that. Gimme. me Ugh. okay are there any doors to get some like pry bar crowbar goodness awesome let's go there's a door oh hi it's dusty shelves it is so dusty here where's your maid oh there's a big bear hello oh a page with faded ink Able to provide power to all robots and machinery in the area via a large electromagnetic field. Maintenance efforts are quite high as expected. We have provided customized backup cells for the few most important robots. Their electromagnetic fields are much weaker and the signals are highly specific. In other words, these small cells can only charge one single Oh, the rest of the page is unreadable. Poopies. What's this? What's this? It's a power cell, I think. 
Oh, the word profit bot is written on the side. I didn't notice that earlier. One trigger in a parcel. I want it. Let's get a, a robot buddy. There are a lot of small glowing shrimps swimming in the jar. Yeah, because without them, I would not be able to see my way around this place. This factory place stuff. What's up here? Hello. It's a big machine and it has buttons. It doesn't seem to be doing anything, though. There's a rectangular shaped hole in the middle. It looks like something used to fit in there. Well, what could we place? A power zone. Are there any other doors? Like, like, dude. Are this being a door? No, no. Oh. It's so tantalizing. I want to rummage. Are there any doors, like, up here? No. Is there stuff? No. Are we sure this is not a door? No. Poop. Well, I mean, we have clues, but I'm not sure how to stitch them together, you know? Are this a door? No. Hmm. Well, let's go back outside. I wonder if I can talk to Mr. Dude Guy, the first robot we spoke with, and see if he knows stuff. Hello again. Are there more questions you wish to ask? Yes. Uh-huh. Go on then. Ask away. Varen's prophecy, the tower. No. There's nothing new. How tall is the tower? Can't even see the top. Not allowed to answer. How do you get up there? Sadie will know what to do. I see. Poop! Okay, well, somehow we have to go middle, middle, middle. We have to keep going into the middle because the tower access is way in the middle. Ooh, what is in here? Oh, yeah, this machine. I wonder if we have anything. Like, maybe this lens? Let's try. Um, oh, the machine is still running. Maybe I shouldn't stand so close. What if my scarf got caught in there and it pulled me in? I'm not going to finish that sentence. Hmm. Yeah, we need a pry bar. So I think I'm going to leave it here. And maybe I'll do a little off-camera work. You know, explore around. Because I'm sure it gets a little boring for you guys. I'm going in circles because I'm a doofus. And I'll see if I can figure any good stuff out. And, of course, I will try to remember to launch the game next time with you guys already sitting here with me, okay? Because I want you to see the little messages that she gives me. It's adorable. It's such a cool mechanic of this game. But for now, I'm just going to leave it here, and I'll see you guys next time, okay? Bye!